How's it going? So today I'm just going to show you how to export your music and photos from your iOS device and back onto your PC. Now you might be wondering why would you need to export it back onto your PC if you uploaded it with your PC. Well for example with myself I had an external hair drive where I kept all my pictures and videos and also music. Um, but unfortunately I lost that when I was away in Germany. Now my iPod is the only device that still has all my pictures and music so I needed to extract them from my iPod and back onto my PC. Now other people might have a reason why they might want to take it back as well um, but we're, I'm just going to show you how to do that it, and I use the software called iExplorer. Um, there's two softwares that I you know, came across, iExplorer and this gate. Now with this gate I was able to get back my music but it changed the name of the songs onto you know it changed them into letters such as XYZ and it put them in individual folders as well. Now I want to extract my whole entire um, photo and music library but if you want to get back your pictures that you took with your um, you know iPod or whatever it's really simple to do this because a lot of people get uh, gets this confused just go into computer if you're using a PC and then go onto the iPod and then internal storage your DCIM and then click on the first folder and that's all the um, pictures that you took and the videos as well now to download iExplorer just go onto Google and type in iExplorer so just go on the first link from macroplant.com they're the people that make um, iExplorer so just download it now I already have it downloaded onto my PC so I'm gonna skip this step but if you do need any help downloading the software just let me know so once you have it downloaded just open up iExplorer now it'll ask you to connect your um, iOS device I already have my iPod connected and as you can see the first page here you can choose um, what type of file you'd like to export from your iPod. Um, I've already done the pictures and if we click on pictures here it gives you the option to export the the whole entire um, library and that's what I did or you can select individual items. Now this is exactly all the pictures that I have and they're all on my um, iPod. This includes pictures that I took as well with the iPod or pictures that I uploaded from my PC onto my iPod. Now to do the music, what you want to do is just click on music. And as you can see here, it has all my playlists that I created on my iPod. Now if we go onto iTunes, you can also see here, these are my indeed my playlists. Um, now this is brilliant because that's literally all my music. Um, except for other random songs that I put onto it. So what I want to do is the music. Now I used this gate like I said before. But it saved it really weird. So I'm going to do it again using iExplorer. But I'm not going to do it in this tutorial. Okay now I said I wasn't going to export my music while doing this tutorial. But I thought I might as well just show you the steps um, of transferring the items from your iPod. Um, now... The way I do this is quite simple. I like to create. I created a folder actually called iPod Extraction. Um, as you can see here, these are the photos that I took out with iExplorer. Now, I actually didn't create these folders. iExplorer did that itself, and this is exactly how I put my folders onto my iPod. It gave me it back the exact same way, and it also gave me back my camera roll and other video recordings with my iPod which is really great I I actually love this um the way it did it, it it's real organized now let me show you how Discade gave it back to me now I the first thing I did with Discade was take my music now it took all my songs and then split them up into different folders as you can see 50 folders and they were all renamed to like random letters like IJPA now that's not what I want and I'm going to export my music now using iExplorer so hopefully it gives me back with the um, name of the songs as well. So to do that um, the best thing to do is just create a folder name it iPod Extraction and now let's go back into iExplorer. Now just click on music first you can't take the whole library because if you take the whole library it'll give you your voice me memos as well so just click on music and then go down here to uh, transfer from Kingsley's iPod. Now click on transfer entire um, 
playlist folders. So what I'm going to do is just go into computer and then I'm going to look for my iPod extraction folder. So it's in my Toshiba external hard drive. It's in recovery and boom. Now I created another new folder which I'm going to rename music again because this guy gave it to me weird. So just click OK and that's it. Now this will take a long time so uh, well it depends on how fast your computer is. With my pictures they had more um, gigabytes. I think my pictures was uh, one gigabyte bigger than my music. So and that took about 20 minutes. Uh, but that's because my computer is pretty fast as well. So for you it might take longer or it might even take less. So while I was editing this video the music extraction was finished within five minutes which is actually quicker than the pictures and I'll just show you guys iExplorer actually saved it with the name of the songs. Now that's so much better than um, Discade and um, that's it and that's my music back now and I have the pictures and music so that's really great and I hope this video helped you out and um, if it did please like the video and comment as well also if you need any help just ask me in private message or leave a comment and if you could share this video it'll be nice as well because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who um, needs uh, this help anyway thanks again for watching and I hope the tutorial helped you